Well, happy Saturday evening, everybody. It's Mumbai Doug. Well, we had a busy day today. Um, got up early and went to church and did the cleaning project, like the pre-spring cleaning project at the building, and then came home, did a couple of things <clears throat> around the house, and then we had the guinea pig funeral, finally. Um, uh, we videotaped it. So, I'm going to warn you right now, some of the content may be considered graphic. It's really not. I mean, it looks like a sleeping guinea pig. We put her in the grave and we buried her. Um, she was frozen, so, I mean, we got her right after she died and put her in the freezer, so it's not like, you know, she's not messed up or anything and you can't see her face, really, but if that kind of thing would bother you, you wouldn't want to watch the part where we bury her. Um, you'll figure that out because we take her out of three plastic bags, so if you want to watch the whole video but don't want to watch that, um, you might fast forward or stop watching at the plastic bag part. So anyway, um, that's what today's video is going to be about. We buried Kaya's favorite guinea pig, Moonlight. Um, she was the mommy of the babies we had back in July. And she was about a year old and died suddenly, unexpectedly, for reasons unknown. So, yeah, I guess that's it. Uh, I'm gonna proceed with the funeral now. Okay, bye. What do you think? Did it get big enough? One more digging. But there's rocks down there. Yeah. Okay, so here we are. We're getting ready to have the funeral for Moonlight. Moonlight. And we're going to bury her. We made a nice hole. Mommy brought a nice flower. We're going to bury with her, right? Are you glad we're doing this? Yeah. So we can be done with it? We can say our final goodbye? Okay. Okay. Yeah, I'll hold the flower. I hope the neighbors don't come home right now. <laughs> Why? Because we're in the middle of something private. It's a family ceremony. She was a good guinea pig. Yes. A good mommy. No, I think he kept going. Well, if he did see us, I bet he'll wonder where those humans are going back there. <laughs> those humans? So those people. Oh, it's like she's asleep, isn't it? Here, Kai, come get the flower. You can put it in there with her. No kissing her or anything like that. Put her in. Put the flower in with her. Say your goodbye. Say bye. Bye, mm. And then I'll cover her up. Okay? Okay. Uh-oh. Are we taping? Ready? You want to help me? Yeah. Here, you grab the bottom of the shovel. We'll turn it over. Ugh. Then we might want to tap it. Yeah. Make it flat.
what? We can go get some uh, some of the rocks that you collected in the backyard. Yeah. And you put put them over top of this. Yeah, I was thinking that it's gonna make a circle and just round the whole thing and go yeah. around. We can do that. Right now? If you want to. I want to. Okay. I'll go get them. Okay. So there you have it folks, guinea pig funeral. Yep. Okay, you can arrange those rocks however you want to. Oh, split. oh. Yeah. over here. Yeah, over here. There's blue dirt. Cool. And that way we won't forget where it is. Yeah, the rocks are dirty. Here, I'll get them closer for you. There's one right here. Yep. Okay. All done? Yeah. I'm glad can that's I, done, huh? Can I put some grass on there? Well, the grass will just float away, so probably not. Oh. <laughs> All right. So you can come out here anytime you want. You put a flower in there with her, so... Very pretty, Kaya. Very pretty. I was just getting ready to upload this video. I was getting ready to finalize it, and then I was going to upload it, and then I thought I had one more thing I wanted to say. Um, you know, in some ways I've probably made light of the whole guinea pig dying situation, but I know to Kaya this is very, very, you know, serious and sad. That was her pet and everything. Um, and you can see in our video we took it serious and we understand her feelings. But something that I haven't really said or talked about a whole lot with regard to Kaya was that, you know, she just turned seven years old last month, and in her seven years, she has lost the following due to death. Um, first was her, her grandmother, Darla's mom, and then five months later, six months later, my dad died. Um, all these people lived right here in town, and then after Darla's mom and my dad died, she lost her cat um, to an illness, cancer. Uh, it was her favorite pet. This was before we had the dog. And sometime after that, I guess about a year or so after that, um, Pokey, our other cat, died. So, and Darla and I had both those cats for over 10 years, um, maybe 12 or so years, something like that. So, um, and countless fish, <laughs> she also lost. And now this guinea pig. So it's not, you know, loss is not something new to her. She has dealt with so much of it in her young life. And um, I think she's learned to learn to grieve in a healthy way and understands it. And we've just had countless conversations about all of this with her because we've had to. Um, you know, she has one grandparent left. The other three have died all since she's been alive. So, you know, this is something, sadly, that she's become quite accustomed to. So... And when you have pets, that's just, but you know, losing them can just be part of it sometimes. So we work through it the best that we can. Anyway, I just wanted to add that footnote on the end just before I uh, finish this thing up. Bye.